Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Gate Geometrics Engineering. Here we learn and explore the things related to geometrics engineering. If you are new to our channel, then subscribe it and also join our telegram group where we upload some extra material over geometrics engineering and also we are going to upload question series over there. So go join our telegram group also. Before starting this lecture, I want to say if you haven't watched our previous lecture over sensors, then go and watch them because that lecture is highly related with this lecture. So please go and watch that and then come to this lecture. So starting our this lecture, that is classification of sensors on the basis of their sensing mode. There are two types of sensors, scanning type sensor and non-scanning type sensors. In scanning type sensors, there are two types further a cross track scanning system and a long track scanning system. So let's start with the scanning type sensor. A scanning type sensor. A scanning type sensor are the sensor which obtain the terrain information or which obtain the terrain data by sweeping the sensors by sweeping the sensor over the terrain. It sweeps the sensor over the terrain and then get the information of the sensor. It is done in two ways that is a cross track scanning system and one is a long track scanning system we will see them one by one so starting with the a cross track scanning system in a cross track scanning system the whole area the whole area of the earth or what we say terrain is covered by moving the sensor in two directional motion of the sensor by moving the sensor in two direction the whole area is covered we can resemble it with image acquisition technique using single detector. In previous lecture, image acquisition technique using single detector is done in the same way. But if I am saying single detector, but don't think that always a cross track scanning system uses single detector. It may have more than one detector per band for detection of the area. So how it works? First, in a cross track scanning system, with help of de uh, detector and with help of a rotating mirror inbuilt in it, a scanner scans from one end of the swath and then goes towards the another end of the swath and because of flight moving, it then jumped in the next line and then scan the next line from one end to another end. So, because of sensors moving in the direction perpendicular to the flight direction, it is called as a cross track scanning system. It is also called optomechanical scanner because it consists of an optomechanical system which is used for rotating the detector axis from one corner to another corner. It is also called as whisk, whisk broom, whisk broom scanning system because it is we, we can. Uh, we can connect it with brooming technique where one broom the surface from one side to another side then move in a perpendicular direction to it. So in this way a cross track scanning system works. Let's see a cross track scanning system which have more than one single detector. Then we will understand it clearly. Here watch it. Here the detector is having four detector the system is having four detector and it is first scanning the uh, system in this direction and then moving in the perpendicular direction that is the flight direction or platform motion direction so in this way more than one detector can be used in a, a cross track scanning system also see this figure in this figure six detectors are used six detectors are placed and these six detectors are used to scan six different lines per band that means per band it is de uh, detecting the six lines at a time and then once these six lines are uh, detected then further six lines are detected in the uh, perpendicular direction to the SWAT so now what about the ground resolution spatial resolution and spectral resolution of this technique the spatial resolution of this technique, the spatial resolution of this technique, it's 
totally depend upon the instant field of view instant field of view of detector what is the field of view of detector what area it is covering over ground is the resolution of this type of scanning system so this is about this is about spatial resolution what about spectral resolution spectral resolution is defined such a way that how many how many detector or how many uh, number of how many different detector are used for different bands so in this way spectral resolution are there for example in this image you can see six detector per band are used so this is per band and for four band there are to total 24 detectors this means six different array of detectors are four different array of detectors having six detectors per band it is used so in this way spectral resolution is also defined now moving towards examples there are some examples of a cross track scanning system lenses multispectral system lenses thematic mapper lenses 7 enhanced thematic mapper and so on there are some extra also in the telegram group go check them now moving further a long track scanning system in a long track scanning system what happens there is no rotation of the mirror there is no rotation of the axis of detectors the detectors are required to move in the flight direction only we can connect it with a image acquisition technique using linear array of detector in this system the whole area of the on earth is scanned along the direction of platform it consists of linear array of detector we can see here linear array of detector which covers the one direction that is the sword direction and motion of the platform covers the another direction so in this way a long track scanning system works by using gif we can show you how it works this is the whole detector and it is scanning the line one by one one by one one by one so in this way a long track scanning system works also in this system spectral resolution and spatial resolution how it is defined spatial first we will talk about spatial resolution this swath line this swath line how many detectors are used to cover this swath line is defined spatial resolution means spatial resolution of this system spatial resolution of this system is determined by number of detectors number of detectors number of detectors used in line to cover swath to cover the swath so to cover the swath how many detectors are used it gives spatial resolution then what about spectral resolution for spectral resolution how many linear array of detectors are used for example see this spatial resolution this this direction is shown means how many detectors are used in a one linear array and then for spectral resolution how many linear arrays are used means 1 2 3 4 there are how many linear array are used these different linear arrays used to detect different bands of the spectrum so spectral resolution is defined by number of linear array spectral resolution is defined by number of linear array so in this way it works here the detectors are nothing but charge coupled devices here the detectors are nothing but charge coupled devices which we called as ccds so in this way a long track scanning system works now moving further so there are some examples of a long track scanning system you will see some extra also in telegram now moving at last portion of our slide no second last what is 
द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ अ लॉन्ग ट्रैक स्कैनिंग सिस्टम और वी कैन से कंपेरिजन ऑफ दिस टू सो वी हैव सीन दैट अ लॉन्ग ट्रैक स्कैनिंग सिस्टम डू नॉट हैव एनी रोटेटिंग मिरर इट डजेंट हैव एनी मैकेनिकल सिस्टम दैट डिटेक्टर डजेंट नीड टू मूव इट्स एक्सेस फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस सो इट इज हैविंग लेस फंक्शन सो इट इज हैविंग लेस फंक्शन मीन्स it is it is showing the image in less motion means it is more reliable it does not need any extra motion it is more reliable more reliable and more durable than a cross track because it do not need to move its axis also in a cross track because of moving of detector in two direction one is rotation and one is uh, one is rotation and one is in the direction of flight line the time occupied by detector over some area is less the time occupied by detector over some area is less this time is called as dwell time this time is called as dwell time and this dwell time is the reason for high resolutions things it is del dwell time is for it is the reason behind high spatial spectral and radiometric resolution so in a cross track scanning system this dwell time is less this dwell time is less but in a long track scanning system this dwell time is more than a cross track because in a long track scanning system there is no need to move the sensors alignment from one end of swat to another end of swat so it have more time to occupy the ground image for more time so it has more better spatial spectral and radiometric resolution than a cross track so this is the advantages of a long track scanning system over a cross track now coming to the end of the our video that is non imaging technique so i will say that it is similar to the area array imaging technique image image acquisition using area array of detector in this detectors are arranged in area in two dimension and the whole picture of the image is captured at once using charge coupled devices here also ccds are used and this is known as non scanning technique because there is no movement of the scanners over the ground surface so this is and it is used only in aerial cameras aerial cameras or we called it digital metric cameras digital metric cameras so that's all for from non scanning and scanning portion of the video if you have any doubt then ask us through mail or comment and please join our telegram channel because by joining that we will know that who are serious for preparation and who needs question series and who wants to give test so in this way we will prepare our further strategies so join the telegram channel and keep supporting us thank you